a Carnegie Institution for Science audio press release for January 23, 2014. What makes cell division accurate? As all school children learn, cells divide using a process called mitosis, which consists of a number of phases during which duplicate copies of the cell's DNA containing chromosomes are pulled apart and separated into two distinct cells. Losing or gaining chromosomes during this process can lead to cancer and other diseases, so understanding mitosis is important for developing therapeutic strategies. New research from a team led by Carnegie's Yishan Jung focused on one important part of this process. Her results improve our understanding of how cell division gives rise to two daughter cells with an equal complement of chromosomes. It's published by the journal Developmental Cell. Cell division is helped along by a complex of more than 90 proteins called kinetochore, interacting with scaffolding-like structural fibers called microtubules. Together, the kinetochore and microtubules provide the structure and force that pull the two duplicate halves of the chromosome apart and direct them to each daughter cell. By looking beyond the microtubules and kinetochores themselves, Jung's team identified a protein that regulates the interactions between the kinetochore and the microtubule fibers. Using super-resolution microscopy, they were able to hone in on one particular phase of this process, namely the way that microtubules are captured by the kinetochore to promote proper alignment of the chromosomes in a way that facilitates equal partition of duplicated DNA. Jung said the study of mitosis is focused on microtubules and kinetochores, the most prominent structure that researchers observe. Her work demonstrates the importance of expanding the scope of study to include other cellular components because this is critical to achieving an in-depth understanding of the mechanisms underlying chromosome alignment in preparation for dividing the DNA into two new cells. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science, fundamentally changing what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe.